If you wanna live in a St. Paul suburb surrounded by lakes that feels like a resort town, but is only 15 minutes away from downtown St. Paul, then you definitely wanna put White Bear Lake, Minnesota on your list. In this video, I'm gonna tell you about the community, the schools, the outdoor spaces, the shopping and conveniences. So keep watching if you wanna know what it's like to live in White Bear Lake, Minnesota. White Bear Lake has a population of about 24,000, Vadnais Heights is like 13,000 or something, but it's only 15 minutes to downtown St. Paul, 25 to downtown Minneapolis, and about 30 minutes to get to the airport. White Bear Lake is kind of like a black hole because a lot of people that grow up there or that move there tend to stay there, and I think a lot of that has to do with the friendships and the community that people build. It's like a lot of people find something that they're passionate about and then they find a way to apply that to getting involved in the community. A lot of suburbs and neighborhoods have community events, but the engagement in White Bear is really high and people are really outspoken about what they want to happen with the city. White Bear Lake has a historic downtown that really has its own personality and it's filled with local stores, antique stores, gift shops, clothing stores, bakeries, and it's also right next to White Bear Lake that's also surrounded by a bunch of different residential neighborhoods. The downtown area is probably the best part about White Bear Lake and every Thursday in the summer they have what they call Market Fest and they have music and food and car shows, just like a little mini state fair in the town of White Bear Lake and I used to love going there with my girlfriends when I was in high school. White Bear's downtown area is probably the most exciting for shopping and everything, and there's not many big box stores within the borders of White Bear Lake, but you can just hop over to Vadness Heights, which is probably about a five minute drive, and then you go on County Road E, and there's a Walmart and a Target right across the street from each other. The Target is connected to a grocery store and a strip mall over there as well. There are eight large lakes in White Bear and Vadness Heights, and if you wanna to go to White Bear Lake, there are tons of beaches and parks and boat launches, but I will say that people get a little ornery around the boat launches because it gets really busy over there. So if you wanna avoid that, you can always go to Sucker Lake in Sucker Lake Regional Park, and there's a huge loop trail that goes all the way around the lake, and it's always a lot less crowded. White Bear and Vadness have 38 parks, 24 of which are in White Bear. But aside from parks, there's also Tamarack Nature Center, which is really cool. I spent a lot of time there uh, as a kid because we had a lot of field trips there. But they have interactive activities and special events and day camps and volunteering opportunities. But something I really like about Badness and White Bear is that they have organized walks and organized sports teams. So if you are just moving and you don't really know anybody and you want to make friends, or build community, it's a really great way to do that, especially if you're not really into the bar scene. But if you wanna to get to know people that way, there are several bars that are open to like one or two, including Jimmy's, and I know people are having a good time there because I worked at, I worked overnight shifts at the, bad, uh, the Perkins. Drunk people would always come in after bar close at 2 a.m. Lots of locals hang out at the neighborhood bars, so if that's the way you prefer to get to know people, have a couple cocktails, make socializing a little bit easier, you have a lot of options for that too.
I can give you a little bit more insight on White Bear Lake schools because I graduated from there, but there are eight elementary schools, two middle schools, and two high schools, which is really only one high school. So I'll explain. So a North Campus has freshmen and sophomores, and South Campus has juniors and seniors. Personally, I didn't really like that much. I wish I would have gone to high school with all four grades in one school because a lot of the sophomores thought they were super hot shit because they were one year older and it wasn't the most ideal way to start my high school experience. But niche.com gives White Bear Lake Public Schools an overall grade of B, but I will say something about the math there. So I graduated 10, 15 years ago, and when I was going to school, they had integrated one, two, and three, however many it is, rather than having algebra one and algebra two and geometry and trigonometry, however they normally split it up, I wouldn't know. But I don't think it was the best way for me to learn math. Maybe nobody else had a problem with it and it was just me, but I know that there's a radio show that makes fun of White Bear math. If you're thinking about moving to White Bear Lake or any other part of the Twin Cities, please feel free to reach out to me. Even if you just wanna ask me some questions about a certain area or get more, some more specifics, I would love to be a resource for you. Most homes in White Bear Lake were built between 1950 and 1999, and they're a little bit newer in Vadness Heights. Most of the homes were built between 1980 and 1999, but the median sales price in White Bear Lake is 350,000 for single family homes, which is about $50,000 less than the Twin Cities as a whole, which is at 400,000 400, for single family homes. It's a little bit higher in Vadness Heights, which has a median sales price of 420,000. White Bear Lake has a really good variety of homes. There's a lot of ramblers in the downtown area, but also a lot of really historic homes. There are multi-million dollar homes that are right on the lake. But the nice thing about White Bear is that there are homes that are just a few blocks away from the lake, maybe not right on the lake, that you can get for around $500,000. White Bear also has North Oaks, which is a private neighborhood, and you have to take a long skinny road to get there, and it almost seems like it's on an island. But the homes there are really beautiful. And I know this because my girlfriends and I, we drove down there because we'd see all the Christmas lights from the road around, I mean, of course, around Christmas time. We didn't actually know we weren't supposed to go down there, but we went down there and it was like Christmas land and these houses are super beautiful. If you're looking to get into White Bear Lake, I would go in with the expectation of paying at least 350,000, closer to 400,000 if you want something that's a little bit more updated. If you're willing to do some work, you may be able to find some options that are under 350. There are some cons to White Bear, one being that Highway 61 goes right through the middle of downtown and it gets pretty busy. So if you have a house close to there, you're gonna probably hear a lot of heavy highway noise. But of course, the farther you get away from that, the better it is. And also having that busy street right there, it might feel a little bit less safe to walk, but just make sure that you're crossing at crosswalks, which I think most people do anyway. If you rely on public transportation, White Bear is not super great for that either. No buses go to White Bear Lake. Any buses that go from the city toward the northeastern suburbs and in Badness Heights. Like I didn't even know that buses, I mean, I only saw school buses when I was going to high school. So I had no idea that there were city buses too. And White Bear also doesn't have protected bike lanes. Like of course, a lot of the streets are residential streets, so it'd be safe enough, but it's not as biker friendly as the cities are. I'm also gonna say that the math in the high school is icon because integrated math sucks. The lakes are definitely a pro of White Bear. Even if you don't want to go to the busy White Bear Lake, there are plenty of other lakes to go to, or you can go to the Tamarack Nature Center. The historic downtown is definitely another pro. It's really lively and Market Fest is really fun and it's really easy to get to know people. But I'd say the best thing about White Bear is that even though you're close to the city, you still feel like you're really far out of it. And there are a lot of opportunities to make friends and build community outside of the bar scene. I have a ton of other neighborhood and suburb tours, so make sure to watch those next if you really wanna to get to know the Twin Cities.